movement can show a lot of people can show men how to show their feelings and it also could show male and female relationships what true equality actually looks like um, also the police uh, disproportionately attack young men they go after young men right so young men are a target for young police or for young for the police young or not right I remember just walking down the street and a cop would be like what are you doing punk hey punk what are you doing right just fucking with young males because who gives a shit about a man right you can't hit a woman but a boy or a man beat the fuck out of them throw them in prison let them get raped send them to fucking war let their head get fucking blown off who gives a shit right um yeah, so uh, John Henry Barry was murdered and his nephews were attacked in the very beginning of uh, Roll Thunder, Hear My Cry uh, because a white woman alleged that John Henry Barry had flirted with her. That's all that it was necessary for this man to die. A white woman alleged he flirted with me. He didn't rape her, he didn't hit her, he didn't rob her, he didn't kill her, he didn't do any crime against her. He flirted with her. So what? He might have smiled at her? He might have said hi back to her? You know what I mean? What? How the fuck is that enough of a reason to kill somebody? But that shit happened in Kentucky, and I got a couple examples of that. With C.J. Miller in Ballard County, Jim Stone in Graves County, and David Walker's entire family was wiped out, all seven of them, in Fulton County. Because of an alleged outrage against a white woman. So John Henry Barry had supposedly flirted with the white woman. That's it. Maybe he just smiled at her. Maybe he just rebuked her advances, right? Um, or maybe nothing happened at all. Who gives it? You know, who knows? Uh, but it's also a fictional story. But he blew her advances off. And then this is just like Emmett Till. Uh, so it's a fictional thing. But this happened a lot. So just like Emmett Till, the 14-year-old black boy who was murdered in the South in the 1950s. So this would just be like 20 years later on. Um, after the setting in this book, which is the 1930s. For allegedly whistling at a white woman. So he just, supposedly, right? Supposedly. So he's like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not a great whistle, but. <laughs> so just doing something like that, supposedly, right? Which is just like, hey, you look pretty. You look nice, you know? So basically it's, it's complimentary. It's not even like an insult. It's not like, you're fat and ugly and fuck you, you piece of shit, you know? But somebody's going to get actually murdered in Kentucky for cussing at a white woman. So you can't you can't flirt with them, you can't smile at them, avert your eyes, boy, look down on the ground. How dare you? Elizabeth Rogers, this is you, Beverly Creepers, and this is white women at Spalding University, okay? They will lynch a motherfucker because they're fucking fascist Nazi assholes. I remember them actually just saying, telling the whole a uh, 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 class in the auditorium to move in the front two uh, <laughs> two rows in the seat, you know. So basically, we're all spread out and we have plenty of room, plenty of elbow room and shit. But they wanted us all right in front of them, like a nice little lineup, right? Here's a lineup. You do as I say. Shut your damn mouth, and we'd all be all bunched in and shit, just for the sake of doing it. We could have heard what they were saying, but they didn't give a shit. Just arbitrarily, let's just fucking do it. And they said it with such a tone, it was like, you better do as I say, or I'll fuck you up. As an adults, that's what Chris. Harris says, she says, if you're adults, then you will follow instructions like adults. And I remember one of the girls like smiling, thinking, hey, are you just kidding? Or, uh, no, no, she's not kidding. She's a fucking shitty person and she will fuck your life up. That's, you know, classroom management, that's the only class that should have been taught because that's the only thing that any of these teachers in Louisville, JCPS, Spalding University, in America, all the way from kindergarten all the way to fucking teacher training, it's all oppression, nonstop. No freedom, no democracy, no spirituality, no ethics, no morality. It is just, you know, a dreadful, it's not true education, it's just flat out oppression. And they're gonna, they're gonna basically... Uh, uh, wear themselves out. You're not actually teaching anybody and people are going to see through the bullshit unless you go to welding school or engineering school or some school where you actually learn a talent, but business school, uh, yeah, political science a little bit, maybe not really, but then uh, education, not at all. There is no, if you, uh, the saying, if you can't, then teach. If you can't, those who can't teach that's exactly right. These fuckers have no skills, no uh, talents whatsoever, except for they know how to oppress a fucking group of people, and you better do as the fuck as they say, or they will ruin your life. They'll call ISAP, they'll call some fat fucking security guard, drag your kid out. They use violence, use oppression, right? The school system was also into violence. You better do as I say. Swap, whap, whap. You know, fucking hit people for 
any reason. So just like the violence that white people would use on black folks, it's the same violence that we see today. White women are still using it on black folks as a prison, uh, a, a, a prison to... A school-to-prison pipeline is going on in our schools now, in, especially in Louisville. Uh, 50% of Iroquois don't even graduate. Well, 80 to 90% are not white women. What the fuck do white women understand about the struggle of young black men and women? They don't at all. That's why they're all getting fucking kicked out and shit because do as the fuck as I say. Just like with Kristen Harris, who's arbitrary, capricious, um, and she's obstinate too. She would never do what the fuck you say, but you're supposed to be her bitch. You're supposed to be, you know, just be run like a little fucking slave, right? A fucking slave slave and when you do what other people say and you don't care about the morality of it you lose your soul you lose your spirituality and you're broken you are a broken person and um and humans are good and we should allow that goodness to shine but really the oppressors want to smash people's soul and and then once you smash the souls then they have to act like you they gotta be a soulless fucking psychopath just like you totally off topic but it's okay so, okay, the reason why John Henry Barry was murdered and his nephews were attacked um, was because supposedly they had, you know, flirted with a, a white woman. And uh, that's just like Emmett Till, who was a 14-year-old black boy who was murdered in the South in the 1950s for allegedly whistling at a white woman. Kentucky murdered many black men because the men pretended like they were protecting the white women, right? So I recognize that it's, it's uh, the, the, the uh, you know, the, the patriarchy and it's the racist uh, men that's actually doing the fucking murder and the violence, uh, but they're doing it for white womanhood. So uh, that's that's a two part thing. That's a team fucking effort. The white woman lies about the shit, then the the white man kills the the black man. And if the, either one of them could break the fucking cycle, white woman could not lie about the shit, right? She, and he's protecting how she's moral and pious and better than him and how great she is when really she's crap. She's a piece of shit. She loved the black man, she lied about it, and then watched him get fucking hung. And, and we see this several times in Kentucky. I just pointed out three cases here. C.J. Miller in Ballard County, Jim Stone in Graves County, and David Walker's entire family, all seven of them in Fulton County. And there's, these are all counties in Kentucky. So Ballard County... Um, Fulton County and Graves County. On July 7th, 1893, the lynching of C.J. Miller happened in the city of Bardwell, the county seat of Ballard County, because he was falsely accused of rape. The woman didn't even want to say it, just like in um, To Kill a Mockingbird. She was like, this is all I'm going to say, and I ain't going to say no more, okay? So she's clearly lying on the stand. Um, the exact same thing with C.J. Miller happens. She's clearly lying on the stand. She's like, Daddy, what do you want me to say, Daddy? What do you want me to say? And then her sister's all mad. The truth, damn it, the truth. And it's like, uh, she's lying. She knows that if she says that he had raped her, then he's going to die. But she's a liar, and she doesn't give a shit. Right, so since the white people didn't know for sure C.J. Miller did the crime, instead of setting him on fire, instead they showed mercy and they just hung him to death using a chain. Okay, and I see there's a picture of this. So that's the lynching of C.J. Miller in 1893, right, during the era of Nadir era of, um, of race relations in America. Jim Stone, who whites in Mayfield had tried to lynch three times prior eventually was able to capture him on the alleged charge of looking at a white woman and there's no reason to murder somebody and that's uh, doubtful the case since um, uh, you know there's, that's no, to look at a white woman that's bullshit but it's also doubtful that was even the reason that he had got picked up because they tried to lynch him three other times before uh, Jim Stone was a prominent black man in the city of Mayfield in Graves County Kentucky so they uh, he was a prominent man, so they they want to lynch the leaders and the the men that was actually being success, successful. It wasn't just poor destitute men that had no ability to protect themselves, but it was actually rich, powerful, you know, distinguished and sophisticated men who were getting a good job and doing you know what a good citizen should be doing. But white people didn't give a fuck in Mayfield in Graves County, Kentucky. After Jim Stone was murdered, this started a race riot in Mayfield. Right, so for the alleged outrage of a white woman, they murdered. Jim Stone, that was the justification to kill Jim Stone, again, protecting white womanhood, good, pious, honest, you know, just moral, perfect white womanhood, right, I think all they're saying is, is she's pretty, and they're putting all these other, you know, characteristics on her, um, and, and they can be more humble and gentle sometimes, uh, but clearly they didn't help Jim Stone, it actually hurts Jim Stone, it kills Jim Stone, a prominent black man in Mayfield, uh, Kentucky. 
So after he's murdered, he was a prominent black man. After he's murdered, this starts a race riot. But it wasn't that, you know, after he was murdered, there was like several bonfires that had started throughout town that scared the white people enough to where they just started calling everybody and anybody. And a race riot wasn't so much that it was white people versus blacks, but it was just white people going into the black neighborhoods and just killing anybody and everybody in Tucson. Arizona, they actually like flew airplanes and, and dropped bombs on the black folks. Um, in Corbin, Kentucky, where Kentucky Fried Chicken was created, there's a race riot uh, 20 years before Harlan uh, Sanders created the chicken. So, you know, people want to put like black folks like to eat chicken, but it was only white people in Corbin and they was eating that fucking chicken all over, right? Just getting that greasy chicken all over themselves. White people just be some chicken eating motherfuckers, right? I love chicken. <laughs> um, so the the you know the stereotypes don't make any that's such a stupid stereotype, but it's also just historically inaccurate. Um, a couple of days before Christmas, eighteen ninety six, white citizens of Mayfield, Kentucky, were preparing for an attack in response to a report that up to two hundred and fifty armed African Americans were seeking revenge for the lynchings of Jim Stone and the white captain of African American families. The reports had come from Water Valley and Wingo and other. Nearby towns, white women and children in Mayfield were ordered off the street by 6 p.m. Homes were barricaded. A dispatch was sent to Fulton, Kentucky, asking for a reinforcement of white men and guards were posted at the railroad station. When a report arrived stating that African Americans were also arming themselves in Paducah, Kentucky, the fire bell was rung. Mayfield and defense was positioned in the public square to await the attack. These white motherfuckers are just scaring the shit out of themselves for really no apparent reason. You know, they're getting anybody and everybody in all this, so they're fucking paranoia, which is they're paranoid because they know they've done something wrong. They killed a motherfucker that they shouldn't have fucking killed, and now, you know, they're afraid that there's going to be retribution for their crimes, because they know that there should be retribution for their crimes. They killed a prominent black man that they shouldn't have killed, you know, for no apparent reason. So, uh, when a report arrived stating that African Americans were also arming themselves in Paducah, the fire bell was rung in Mayfield, and defense was positioned in the public square, um, to await the attack, the reinforcements from Fulton arrived by train a little after midnight. Then you had this 18-year-old black male, Will Suet, who was coming home. He was at the train station when the reinforcements came in, and he was gunned down. <coughs> shots were also fired at three other African Americans. Hundreds of shots were fired into the buildings and into the trees. Four homes were burnt down. So they're shooting, you know, I think they only eventually, not only, but they killed three people, but they did so many damages. They could have killed anybody in those houses. They burnt three houses down, so all their belongings and all their stuff is gone. Um, by Christmas Eve, however, the threat is over. Uh, the re reinforcements were sent home. A mass meeting was called, and a petition was signed by more than 100 African Americans asking for peace between the races. So again, African Americans doing what the American dream is, or doing the American thing, going through the motions, getting a petition. Right? That's how we're supposed to be able to change things. Get people to sign a petition um, and and to appeal to our government for a redress of grievances. Um, I remember actually getting Nader to, when I was on Nader uh, uh, presidential campaign, I had a petition to get him on the ballot. People act like they'd never signed a petition ever in their life, which is, you know, amazing to me. Um, that's, that's supposed to be like one of our, that's uh, defended in our first amendment, right? Right to petition, right to have peaceful mass assembly, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and another one. I'm not thinking of, but there's five freedoms, right? And petition is one of them. So, shots were fired at three other African Americans. Hundreds of shots were fired into the buildings and trees. Uh, overall, three people had been killed. One being Will Seward, who had arrived by train from St. Louis, and he was just returning home to spend Christmas uh, with his family in Mayfield. So, yeah, there's a great fucking Christmas gift. Your son's fucking dead. He was in the train station, and we thought he was going to do something because we're a bunch of paranoid whites, and we fucking murdered your kid. Merry fucking Christmas to the blacks in Mayfield. So, that's also, it's cold. Like, what, what the fuck, man? White people are so fucking ridiculous. So, in Kentucky in 1908, David Walker's entire family was murdered because David Walker allegedly swore at a white woman. Which probably wasn't even true, right? Um, There's probably a white woman who knew her husband's hatred of black men and then she used her privileged position to start a fight over nothing. Hey, black boy, what you doing, huh? You looking at me? 
Are you not looking at me? Right? You, there's no winning with, with a, a black man to a white woman. Either they rebuke the advances. No, white woman. I can't. I will get killed for this. Get away from me. How dare you? I'll fuck you up. I'll lie and I'll, t I'll tell them that you did. Or, you know, they'll whistle at a white woman and they'll, they'll get killed because of that. So basically, flirt with the woman. Don't flirt with the white woman. Black man, you're fucking dead. There's no winning there. Um, so, uh, so all seven, because of this alleged flirting, all seven of David Walker's entire family was murdered. This is, uh, more about this coming up, but this is his entire family's. For allegedly flirting with a white woman, his entire family is murdered. 